Hello guys, Travis here, and I'm here with VTM. Hello. And we are here to review Doom Eternal, VTM marathon the game last minute. Hell uh, so, yeah. So I'm including him in the review. Uh, Doom Eternal is a first-person shooter, obviously, developed by id Software and published by Bethesda Softworks. So we're going to start off with, in Doom talking about the story of Doom and of Doom Eternal and and all that. So Doom Eternal takes place two years after uh, the 2016 Doom. Um, the Earth, as most Doom games, overrun by demons. Um, they're now um, the now corrupted Union Aerospace aerospace corporation um so most of humanity in this particular game has either fled earth or have banded together as a part of arc which arc is a resistance movement initially formed to stop the invasion but have gone into hiding after suffering heavy losses because demons be fucked as we've learned yep demon uh, too strong <laughs> yeah um uh, doom guy or doom slayer or doom god whatever you want to call him God among men. Yeah. He was previously teleported to an unknown location, but has returned to Earth because fuck all them demons. He's a man on a mission. Yeah. yeah. Must kill all the demons. <laughs> yeah. So basically, long story short, really, really quick synopsis of it without spoilers um, for the most part. Tiny spoiler, I guess. Uh, because the whole premise of Doom Eternal is for him to eliminate the three hell priests so he can get to Con Maker, who is seeking to sacrifice mankind uh, as the three Hell Priests are, serve Con Maker. So he needs to eliminate them to get to the main person who is seeking to sacrifice mankind because it's a Doom game and everybody's a fucking asshole. Yep. Everyone uh, sucks. <laughs> Doom guy does. Doom guy doesn't. He's a greatness. Um, yeah. So that's a quick, brief overview of the story. Not going to go too in depth on that here. Uh, the game, uh, the game's combat. We'll go into the combat system. It's the same as Doom 2016. Uh, fast pace, never stop. Go, 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 go. As insane as the music in this game. Yeah, music is great. As as music is great. Music is great as all Doom games should be. Um. They're the enemy, just like the first game, you have the enemies when you shoot them. There's a slight difference from the 2006 game, 16 game that I like more. Uh, but in this one, the enemies still, you shoot them, they'll blink. And when they blink, you go in for a, um, a glory kill. Um, which will, when you do that, they drop health. Now in the first game, they, you had your normal basic bitch enemies. And you could walk up to them and one punch melee kill them. And it made you feel like a badass. Here, you don't get a lot of that unless you have the 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 big punch. Um, that we'll the blood talk, punch. Yeah, that we'll talk about a little later on. But um, you used to just walk up without any of that to the basic bitch enemies, which aren't even in this game. So maybe that explains it. But there are basic bitch enemies, but not the the same ones. But you should just walk up to them and just fucking rip their arm off and hit them in the face. Which you do yeah. in this game too, but you could have done that at one melee punch in the first game, and it kind of made you feel like that badass. It kind of got you off going, like I am Doom Guy. <laughs> this is me. I am him. Feel my brutality. <laughs> yeah. Um, you also get a chainsaw early on in the game, which is used. You use it throughout. You can use it if you have enough. You can use it against stronger enemies if you have the gas. To do so, and also even if you don't really have gas, at at certain points you can cut up weaker enemies, and once you do that, they'll drop ammo, just like um, Doom 2016 was was that way also. Um, yeah, and to go a little bit more into that, like with how it works, like you need three bars to cut to chop up any like heavy enemies. And then, like, you only need one bar for weaker enemies, and you re like, you pretty much regenerate one bar. Like, they'll give you a bar over time, so if you can wait it out, like, 
you can eventually give yourself some ammo. Yeah. Um, oh, that's nice. It is, yeah. It's it's nice little nice little thing. Um, the Doom guy's armor now includes a shoulder mounted uh, equipment launcher uh, with the ability to lob grenades and ice bombs and and no dildos. I'm sorry. Like I, I was like, I mean, we're already fucking them, right? That's all right. That's just upsetting. Doom guy is just one upgrade away from just being predator. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, yeah. Uh, the the fire the the amount you have the the flamethrower the flamethrower you can that discard when you hit people with that it discards armor I didn't really I kept forgetting about that so I didn't do that that yeah. much I don't know if you did it that much I forgot it from time to time like later in game I started using it because I was mm-hmm. like oh yeah free armor and if you kill people while they're still on fire it gives you a lot more armor yeah yeah that ability is called flame belch it's funny yeah like a hot sauce burp it's like the flamethrower that boba fett we use in star wars (laughs) yeah yeah um there's also so another big piece outside of the the bait the combat is your platforming uh doom 2016 had a little bit of platforming Uh, i did have platforming but this one goes um even more so in with wall climbing and 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 double dashes which i think was in i don't remember the exact things that were in uh the first doom or doom 2016 but um you have different dash moves you have those yellow things where you can double dash when you have the double dash and then um it'll allow you to double dash again uh the wall climbing you climb like a goddamn i don't even know like as fast as the cheetah runs the dude's the a climbing god yeah, like he's an aggressive climber. <laughs> yeah. He should have grunted. That would have been awesome. I actually, I actually really love the platforming in this game. Like, just being able to just jump around and, like, double dash everywhere. and Like, just clear distance. Like, yeah. this game yeah. made you feel like you were just hauling ass once you knew where you were going. He could definitely win a long jump competition. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, he, he covers distance. It's great. It's like um, he didn't know what gravity was, even though he's like a rock solid, like mm-hmm. mammoth of a man. Yeah, just muscle. There's also the horizontal bars that you can use to swing up. Yeah, um, that they used a lot, and you can get in their section where you can bind all of those into one thing. So, um, the the jumping platforming stuff was really fun. I enjoyed it. It really broke up the gunplay. Uh, which I think because it could be relentless and I know I'm different than some people. Sometimes I was like, man, this game's making me tired. (laughs) Yeah. Like this game would beat you down with like just gunplay the whole time. And then like, it'll throw in a section of like platforming so you can kind of like recoup and all that. It was nice. It was a nice way to break it up. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's like, no one wants to go from like gun battle to gun battle to gun battle time yeah some people would some people some people, some people don't care about story when it comes to doom they're just like yeah. they're just like i just want to kill demons which granted most people play wolfenstein because they want to kill nazis but yeah you know id software it's knows not, how to do it it challenges your brains on like combat and platform yeah and it's very nice it is nice i really enjoyed it um back to combat uh gunplay combat really quick um, I know VTM and me both wanted to talk about um, weapons automatically switching when uh, that certain we- weapon runs out of ammo. Yeah, uh, so weapons, like, once you run out of, like, ammo, and, like, some weapons have, like, a secondary kind of, like, move, like, once you run out completely of a weapon... It will automatically switch, and if you're in, like, a really heavy, like, gun battle, sometimes you're not paying attention. Like, I wasn't paying attention. And, I don't know, like, you get a specific gun, and every time I was in, like, a really heavy situation, it would automatically switch to that gun and use ammo when I didn't want it to. Or, like, say you're trying to save, like, shotgun ammo. So, like, you try to avoid using shotgun, it'll automatically switch to that. 
And what I eventually figured out was like, it would only automatically switch to the previous gun you had used. So say like you used an assault rifle, then you switch switch to your shotgun. Once you run out of your shotgun, it goes back to assault rifle, and then whatever you use before the assault rifle too. Yep. So it goes in order of like how you switch your guns out. It does. Yeah. So it's, so it's kind of like you have to be mindful of what you're using. Like you have to remember the amount of times you've changed your guns before it goes back to that gun. And I know you um technically if you haven't played Doom 2016, go play that. If you're playing go on play. playing if you were playing on playing Doom Eternal, you should have been playing that anyway. So we're going to talk about a gun. That may be a spoiler for some people. If you didn't play Doom 2016, if you did play Doom 2016, you expect it to be in this game anyway. Uh, the yeah. BFG, big fucking gun. Yes. Um. So you, that has happened to. I think I know what happened to me, and I think it happened to you also. Yeah, it happened to me definitely. Um, where you're shooting, whether it's the plasma gun or whatever gun it is, and you run out of ammo, and it automatically switches to the BFG, and it just, I just shoot in the it moment. Oh my god, I'm I'm watching this green go across, and the whole time <laughs> it's like slow motion. I'm like, no. Yeah, oh. like every time for me, I just cried a little yeah. every time. I'm like, because I, I couldn't d- believe it. Yeah, and it's just like I just shot a one basic bitch enemy with a BFG bullet. Yeah, like, <laughs> like it was is that bad? And like I said, like if you're in like an intense firefight where there are enemies all around you, sometimes you're paying attention. Yeah. to your ammo so like it just happens automatically mm-hmm. it's like it's just devastating i would rather like i would rather shoot and it just click like it did it a few times where it just sh- shoots and you're like okay i'm out of ammo i gotta switch guns i'd rather yeah. do that than accidentally spend an ammo that i was really saving like you saved the bfg for a moment yeah unless you're facing the fucking marauder <laughs> who blocks everything Ah, oh, fuck them. Fuck them. We're not gonna get into that. But anyway, not uh, right now. Not right now. The the B, but yeah, BFG is ammo you save. You you're saving. Especially and- since there's no way to get more. Like there's no way to increase the amount of ammo for the BFG. Correct. You have to find that in the world. Yeah. There's no mod chainsawing that's bringing you BFG bullets. No. Or ammo. So if that's one big frustrating thing in the game. If they would just not automatic, I know what they're trying to do, right? Uh, yeah. You run out of guns, you're always you're going fast pace, so it switches to the next gun, and you just keep going. The issue is when you do that, uh, you you may switch to a gun for somebody who's saving it, or maybe they switch to the BFG and they didn't use it they accidentally, and then they switch to something else. Well, you run out of ammo on that, you automatically switch to the BFG. You're not paying attention. You just kind of fuck the person playing the game because he just spent a bfg maybe on no one (laughs) or like even just like the basic guns themselves because like each ammo type has at least two Mm -hmm. different guns for them and like normally the second gun uses more ammo than the first one like it'll hit harder but sometimes like you don't want to use that second one maybe to like use the first one's special ability like me myself personally i i use the assault rifle most of the time for it's like secondary where i didn't use the chain gun because like i use the chain gun in specific moments but like i didn't use it often because like it would just eat through ammo Mm -hmm. yeah it did the yeah yeah it did eat through ammo so yeah i would use the assault rifle more because i felt like it had more versatility than the chain gun did i would just and personally if i was if it was me i would just have like maybe have a, a thing where you have like a setting that you could set a default switch yeah that way you're not switching to a gun you don't want to switch to i think i, I think i've done that I, I don't know if other games have done that before but that would be an easy thing where it's like okay you have a default one like maybe one two so you have like your plasma guns are number one, and then when you run out of that, you want to go to the chain gun, so then it automatically switches to the chain gun instead of yeah. instead of switching to whatever the fuck gun you were just out. Cause... Or, like, um, since there's only, like, what, four weapon types? Like, mm-hmm. so, like, for shotguns, you should be able to just set one specific shotgun, 
as your shotgun. And then, like, for, like, assault weapons or whatever, like, you should just be able to set one for an assault. And, like, the energy weapons, you should be able to just set one. Instead of, like, having them both be able to be selected at the same time. Set it and forget it. Yeah, set it and forget it. That way, like, if even if it does switch, like, it switches to the one that you want. Instead of, like, a random one that you might have used once. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was, I mean, I mean, that was in the well, game. That's, that's, that's not a huge deal, but when it comes to the BFG, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the AMAG switched to BFG. BFG should just be a decision made manually. <laughs> Yeah. Like, it should never automatically switch to it. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, like, if it automatically switches to a shotgun, I don't care. Yeah. Like, uh, it should switch to the basic weapons by itself, but not BFG. Yeah. So that was one gripe we had there. Um, the Blood Punch we talked about a little bit. The Blood Punch is... Um, there's upgrades you achieve uh, throughout the game as the story goes on. Um, if the Blood Punch is a destructive punch that you kind of... it builds It builds up... It, it powers up by doing the glory kills, your big kills, once they start blinking and everything like that. Um, once you got that up, it's a big punch, and it can if you have like three or f three or four basic bitch enemies there, they're for sure dying. Yeah, and it can deal. You can just falcon punch them to death. Yeah, it's not... yeah, um, and as as the game goes on, you may get multiple uh, blood punches. So yeah. so then you're like devastating even even big bigger dudes. Yeah. Um it, it's it's a nice mechanic especially when you're in like your backs against the wall and you're just like falcon punch. Yeah. Or there are some enemies that like wear armor and you can use the blood punch to take off that armor. Yeah. You can to make, make them more vulnerable. You can make them naked. Yeah. You can be like strip. Close. And then just punch it's like the opposite of the clothes beam. <laughs> um, Strip punch. <laughs> yeah. So that's all. Do you have any other mechanic stuff that we forgot? Uh, we'll go in. Other than the fact that like a lot of the mechanics are easily forgettable, like the flamethrower mm -hmm. and like, like with the grenade launcher, you can actually like you. You get two types of grenades. One's an ice, one's a regular frag. Yep. And you can switch them between, and, like, they both have their own, like, cooldown times. So, like, you can use an ice, and then switch to your frag and use that one. And, like, I forgot that you could do that a lot of the time, so it's, I would basically just use one grenade the whole time. Yeah, I forgot they. I mean, I really forgot they. There was like in the bottom right corner, and it's just they're just like use yeah. me, and I'm just like every once in a while I did, and then I'm like, oh, we're back to forgetting about well, it. Well, and even in later game, there's just a whole lot of stuff on screen for like being able to like change your mods for your weapons and uh, change your grenades. Uh, mm -hmm. see what else was there? Uh, yeah. Change grenades down on the D pad on PlayStation. Was it down or yeah. or up on the D pad? One of them changed between the mods, and we'll get into the mods here. Yeah. Now. And then, like, one was for another weapon mm -hmm. that you had. Like, there, there's just a whole lot of, like, different bind commands that, like, clearly it, this game was made for computer, in all honesty. <laughs> and they tried to map it for controller. Yeah. As I, best as they could. You know, they got so many buttons. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah. Um, so, as you go along, as you go through the game... Um, you run into codex collectibles. What these codex collectibles do, uh, they're they're kind of like floating papers in the world. It kind of looks like floating papers that are on fire. Yeah. Um, it adds a lot of story to the game. Uh, I would highly recommend anybody who's really into the lore of what this game's trying to set up to actually read most of these collectibles because they, it, they really do go into... Um, a deep dive into the background of all of this, um, the of the main story, and it is really interesting. And especially as you get deeper into the game, it gets even more interesting. And I, and I really did. I actually look forward to reading them. Which in most games, I'm kind of like, eh, collectibles. Yeah, and sometimes with them, you would get ones for like specific enemies, 
Mm -hmm. and it once you defeat an enemy it updates its page so it tells you like it gives you hints on the best way to defeat some of the enemies which not a lot of people would know if they didn't check them so like that's just a little tip that like i'm throwing out there is like yeah like if you defeat an enemy but you're having trouble marauder maybe check out their maybe check out their page yeah, and the game does also does a good job of a lot of times when you meet an enemy for the first time, it'll pop that up on screen, too. Yeah, it like, will pop it weakness. up on screen. Yeah, this is their weakness, and blah, 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 have fun dying a few times, then you figure that out. <laughs> but, yeah, but yeah, the Codex collectibles are really cool. I I actually think I read, I didn't find them all, but I think I swear I read more in this game. No, I, that's not true. Outlast 2. I read, more in, I, I, more. I read more in Outlast 2 than any game, but this is second. Um, so, Ed, before you even... St well, that's not true. Before you start the <laughs> game, you can't customize the character because you have to actually unlock them in-game. Yeah, you have to unlock them in-game. Unless you have a Twitch one, which is, uh, which is a unicorn. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful unicorn. Um, you can't, you can't, cu you can't customize it in the game. So I know some people are kind of confused on that. They can looking in game for customization. You have to go back to the main menu. Um, that was me. I did not know like that you had to go to the main menu. Yeah. Um. So you you you'd have to load out and then change your character skin. And I just kind of think it's probably because they didn't have it. They didn't have it in the game to where it's like we can change it uh, at a snap. You're gonna have to. We have to yeah. load all that, load it back in. Which um, I started with the basic for a long time, and then I switched over to the the white suit. I and stuck then, with the basic because like I just didn't want to go back to the main menu. Yeah. To be honest, like I stayed in game the whole time. Like even when I got off the PlayStation, I would still keep my game on in the background. He basically but, marathoned it. Yeah, and I also marathoned it. So, like, I never once went to the main menu. So, like, yeah. I tried looking to switch it in-game. It wasn't there. I knew you could switch it in the main menu. But I didn't know, like, you had to. Like, it was a specific thing you have to do. Yeah, but... It is whatever, but they do have they do have uh, a, a lot of different cool skins. Uh, I found one that's like original Doom, like from the '90s. It has like a yeah. eh, his his belly button showing. That's very that's very <laughs> raunchy. Very raunchy. How dare you show your belly button, Doom guy? You cover that up. Uh, not he has, hashtag. He has to let Doom. people know that he has the great midriff. Yeah, hashtag not my doom guy. Hashtag uh, my doom guy. Yeah. <laughs> you can also customize the demons, but I think that more plays a factor in the online than it does in game. Um, yeah. So let's dive into there's a lot of upgrades you can do in the game. <laughs> so we'll so many. We'll start with the mods. Uh, mods for guns. Um, you do these by picking up, I think, like weapon mod suitcases, something like that, some sort of collectible. Um, and what you can do with these, for example, you can unlock the chain gun. You can have the chain gun. You can make that have a mobile turret. Um, or you can have sticky bombs for the combat shotgun, which is super helpful against who I call the meatball boys. Yeah. Well, they're just, it's just super helpful, period, because like for weaker enemies, it's just a one shot kill. Yeah. And well, it damages enemies around. You shoot that right into meatball. They eat my sticky bomb. <laughs> meatball boy. That's what I call them. I, don't, I can't remember what their actual names are. I can't remember their names either. But uh, but yeah, that's who I use. Um, there, I, I always the sticky bomb was always a staple the whole time for me. But that's 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 the gist of weapon of uh, the mods for guns. Uh, you yeah. You, you Each gun them. has two mods except for one of the shotguns, and you can't upgrade the BFG. Yeah. Big fucking yeah. disgrace. Ugh. Such a disgrace. Weak. Yeah. Weak I wish, sauce. I wish there was a G word for that. I don't know. Big fucking dumb. But... Big fucking garbage. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Um, So you also get weapon points. Now... 
based on my knowledge of what I saw, you basically only get weapon points by completing the hordes. Um, uh, no, you can get weapon points from, like, you can get weapon points for doing, like, all of the combat in a map. Mm -hmm. So, like, just killing everything in your path. And then, like, you can get weapon points from doing extra, like, encounters. And I think you also get weapon points for doing the Slayer Gates. Those are the only times that I've ever crossed weapon. And in BTM, we'll talk about the Slayer Gates here in a bit. Because um, yeah. he did them way more than I did. Uh, yeah. So, another thing you do is the Mastery um, ability. So, Mastery ability, once you... I think you have to have everything unlocked in that before you can even start. Yeah. So, um, like, you have to unlock everything for a specific mod. So, if you're using the grenade mod for shotgun, you have to upgrade it twice before you can even start working on the mastery. In the mastery, so I'm going to use the ballista um, as an example. So, it has that destroyer blade where you hold L2, well, if you're on PlayStation... And it, it gives a like a huge blade that goes across to take out multiple enemies at once. Yeah. So once you upgrade all those and you get to the mastery section of it, you have to kill three enemies at least 15, 15 times, times. Uh, with that upgrade. And then you can upgrade to mastery. Uh, or with the heavy cannon, you need to do 75 headshots with the precision bolt to be able to upgrade the mastery. Um, so that is kind of a brief thing with so you can upgrade that through that doing that or you can find mastery coins throughout the world that you can yeah. upgrade without uh doing those those little challenges and mastery coins show up late game i would say maybe what the last two mid game mid game i found one mid game oh uh, because well it's pretty much whenever you get like the last weapon i would say is when you start finding them yeah, I don't remember exactly the first one, but I could have swore it was mid-game, at least. It, it maybe it was a little past mid-game, but it was definitely before the last two levels. Yeah, I felt like I started finding them, like, near, like, past mid-game. Like, whenever you get the last weapon, and, like, they feel like you're comfortable, like, you've probably upgraded at least all, like, gotten all of the um, mods. Mm-hmm. For at least all of the guns. Like one of the mods for each gun. Yeah. <clears throat> I agree. Also you do upgrades for your Praetor suit. I pronounce it Praetor. If I'm wrong I'm sorry. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Praetor. I don't know. You you, you collect Praetor tokens. Which are actual coins that are held by Spectre Sentinels. or they, They're like little blue. They're like ghosts or spirits. They're like ghosts from Dark Souls. Yeah or Casper. Um, they're my soul. They're blue. Uh, this yeah. can uh, these unlock abilities for invite in the environment. Uh, frag grenade, ice ice bomb upgrades, fundamentals, which is your um, just your basic suit stuff. Speeding so. up Doom Guys mechanics. Yeah, and an ex an exploration, which it reveals where certain items are on the map. It enhances um, your map. Yeah, if yeah. you use it. Uh, runes, which are, it's, they look like white crosses with a light ball in the middle of it. You touch it, you, you push on it, there's electricity. Um, you pray it, to it. You pray to it. It's used to upgrade characters' ability. you don't pray to it. Like, no. temporarily slow down time in midair, survive one, one death blow, and briefly slow down time, um, and launch into a glory kill, uh, from much further away it's, it's just little passive stuff like stuff that you don't actively active yep which is nice you can set it and forget it set it and forget it i can't remember yep. what info commercial that was but it was a food one set it and forget it <laughs> yeah i'm pretty sure it was yeah um sentinel crystals are used to your basic upgrades for ammo amount uh you can raise your health or you can raise your shield i i did a lot of ammo upgrades after i did health at first and i think i did one shield and i was like i just want all the ammo i could possibly get 
So I just I, got green ammo. I actually found all of them. So I, but I did start out with health, and then like I did like two or one in armor mm-hmm. at first, and then I went immediately into like ammo. I didn't fight all. I didn't find all of them. I'm not a god. Sorry. I, well, did, I did my best. Get good, scrub. Yeah. So those are all your your upgrades. Uh, there's a lot of upgrades, a lot of awesome stuff. I enjoyed it. Um, now I think there were there were uh, there were even more upgrades in Doom 2016. I feel like it's cr- <laughs> craziness, but but they backed off a little bit on on some of them. But I still felt like for just like a shooter, there was a lot to upgrade in this game. There was. I feel. Yeah. It it was just great. I, everything about this game is fucking amazing. And, and I also feel like they do, like if you're looking for it, they do over prepare you for like some of the upgrades. Like at least for like the weapon mm-hmm. mods, like they give you more than enough yeah. like chances to ha- work your way towards a mastered mm-hmm. weapon. For all of them, actually, like I like once I got to a certain point, I was only focusing on just like upgrading one mod for each gun and like i had more than enough weapon points to like upgrade more than what i had i'm i'm confusing that with someone else there are more upgrades in this game than than 2016 what i'm confusing it with is you know those power-ups you get and um there's sometimes where you can get a power-up to be like badass and you just rip people apart with yeah. your bare hands you got the speed one you got the power i felt like there was barely any of those there was a lot like, there was they a lot mm-hmm. it didn't matter there was a lot more in in 2016 like you you'd find the the one where you can punch people to death with your bare hands with one punch it doesn't matter who i the only enemy found is. that once, once in the game and i and i remember using that multiple times the speed up um i, I the one i found the most was the one where you can get to uh to give yourself full health and shield, which I didn't find. I didn't find that, or I did find that one sometimes. Saying I saw that one four times, and sometimes yeah, that, it was blatantly there. Yeah, that one I saw a couple of times. The one I saw the most was the speed boost. Speed boost. The yeah, the one ripping apart with the bare hands. I love that one. Um, I only got that once. Yeah, me too. It was great though. Yeah, it but was. it's less so. Maybe that was just them trying to add a little bit more difficulty and not trying to hold your hand by giving you all these upgrades laying throughout. But they used to, I mean, they used to hide them pretty well. Not always, but I don't know what happened there. But not a really uh, huge deal, but there were less of those in this game. So if you if that was your favorite thing of all time, maybe maybe you'll be disappointed. I don't know. But just something that I, that I noticed and other people noticed too. Yeah. Um, so the this Doom game, to my knowledge, is the first Doom game with a hub world. The Fortress yeah. of Doom. Fortress of Doom. Yeah, and now you could do multiple things there. You could do there's like a there's like a, a demon jail. Yeah, yeah, like you have a little jail where you can test out your guns, mm-hmm. make sure your loadout is right. Fuck some nice. demons. Yeah, fuck some demons yeah. off camera. You can also collect power cells throughout the the missions that you do throughout the story. These power cells can be put into different places in the the fortress of doom, and that that'll open a gate and allow you to get some sort of upgrade. Um, and you know what the upgrade is, so you know ex- because you can see it. So you can go to wherever you want to go, and be able to get those the upgrades you need. So that's kind it's, of an extra way to upgrade. It's kind of like the crypt from Mortal Kombat. Mm-hmm. Doom guy for Mortal Kombat. Doom Hashtag guy, 2020. Doom guy would be perfect for Mortal Kombat. Yes. <laughs> so you won't have Do any, it. You won't have. So yeah, you can upgrade your Praetor suit. Uh, your You can do the runes. You can do the Sentinel Crystals we just talked about. All those can be found on the in the fortress of doom and you can use those power cells you collect throughout the story to to unlock those things like to my knowledge there's only three suits Mm -hmm. two um what are they called the shards the crystals Uh, yeah there's only two crystals 
there's at least two weapon mods and a shit ton of Praetor. Yeah. So um coins. So you uh And you can yeah. also listen to music in your castle or fortress. It's nice. Music is nice. Yeah. All the old music from like Quake and Doom old Dooms and whatnot, mm -hmm. Wolfenstein. Like, it's pretty much a love letter to all their previous games. That's what this is. Yep. You can also find cheat codes. And cheat codes. Which you, can, you can't you can use in, in the first playthrough, but if you're replaying something, you can use those cheat codes. Yeah, like God mode. God mode. I love it. Like, yeah, we encourage cheating here. Uh, yeah, I encourage cheat. No. <laughs> I encourage you play the game right the first time. Then you can cheat away. Yeah. Because they're letting oh. you. Yeah. If they let you do it. And I believe you can also enter in cheat codes. So, like, you can just get your own cheat code. Like, you can enter in, like, ID QRK or something like that. Which is an old... Like, you can enter in the old cheat codes from previous, like, Doom games to get, like, God Mode and all that. Yeah. And they encourage but it. You, you'd have to find that stuff your own. I remember back in the day, the original Doom game, where it's just like cheat code, and it's just like, you're just walking down these like really pixelated hallways, or just shooting away, you're just like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> and so, that was like that with Wolfenstein also. If only I had cheat code to take Marauder out of this goddamn game. Marauder Shields? Yeah. I Take think that the shield away. How I about that? I think I called the Mass Effect Marauder Shields because, I mean, he had a shield and he was a Marauder. Yeah. <laughs> he had a shield and he was an asshole. It only made sense. Um, so the map in this game, uh, ten. I never really looked at it that much, but like a million times better than Doom 2016. I couldn't even tell what the fuck was going on in <laughs> in, Doom, in Doom 2016. Like hot it was, mess. It was just a mess. I was like, I don't know. There's multiple layers, but yeah, it's it's like a top down view, and it's like all jumbled together. And I wanted to swan dive off a bridge. Like, I just, yeah. like, it's just, whew. And luck, luckily enough, the maps in this game are very linear. Yeah. So, like, it's it doesn't have the real chance of getting all jumbled. Yeah. Well, so was 2016, but you saw it. Yeah. So, but yeah, that's just something I want to throw out there. The map in this game is more 3D. You can bring it to the side. You can see where you are a lot better. Even if you still get lost, you can still see the map, know where you are a lot better. In in Doom 2016, jumbled mess. I fucking hated it. I didn't even want to look at it. It gave me a migraine. I was just like, you know what? I'll find my own fucking way. Yeah. So, but that that's the map. I just, the, I just I'm just, ha I'm just proud of them. Thank you for fixing yeah. the map. I love it. They upgrade the map, even though we didn't use it that much. We didn't use it that much, but just looking at it didn't make me want to die. Yeah. Um, and that was more me. I think I think the map, because you can get along. I think on PlayStation, you hit down on the D-pad, it gives you the marker on where you got to go next uh, yeah. for the story. I think the map a lot is for the collectible stuff. Yeah, it's good once you have like use your Praetor points to um, upgrade the map so you can see further distances and like see what like collectible is around yeah yep I agree. but sometimes like at least in my case i used it a couple of times and it confused me more than anything because like there would be some times where like you can visibly see a collectible but it's behind like some bars or something and it's like how do i get there you look at the map, and the map's even more confusing, because it's like, oh, like, it's just a space that's flowing off in the middle of nowhere, but how do I even get there? So, yeah. Sometimes the map hurt my feelings a lot more than it needed to. But not as bad as 2016. No. Uh, so, VTM, this is, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna turn this over to you to talk about the Slayer Gates and the ins and outs of what you did with the Slayer Gates, because I didn't really get into that as much. Okay, um, so there. At, I'll touch on um, two things. I'll touch on the Slayer Gates and the extra encounters too. Um, I'll start with the extra encounters because they're like miniature Slayer Gates, where like you can just walk up to these orbs and like get in a fight. 
and like at least with the extra encounter you're on a time limit to beat them and if you do you get i believe it's only one weapon point like weapon upgrade point and um if you beat both of them i or if you beat all of them on the map i think you get a couple extra or some of that where like the slayer gates they're like they're a little bit harder so they're on a they're on a harder difficulty they transport you to an arena to fight in and you're just meant to like beat a whole bunch of like enemies like i know like in some of them or in all of them pretty much like they would give you enemies that you haven't even encountered yet so it kind of be like a test like a way to like test your skills against enemy they haven't even introduced yet mm-hmm. so but yeah they're just on a higher difficulty and when you go into these fights, the ammo you have is what you have to use. Like, they do put ammo around the map, but whatever ammo you have at the end of it, that's what you're leaving with. So, like, you could be, you could leave the arena with no ammo. That's what you have to go and finish the map, like, finish your mission with. You so, just, like, can you still some, chainsaw? Some, huh? You can still chainsaw get ammo that way, right? Yeah, you can still chainsaw. Like, you, you can do everything that you can do in the main mission in the Slayer Gates. Mm-hmm. But, like, once you leave, like, once you leave the Slayer Gate, that's what ammo you have until you get more. So it's just sometimes you might want to, like, hold off doing the Slayer Gate until maybe you've, like, gone near the end of a map. You can, like, backtrack or just come back if you know where the key is. But once you leave the mission, you lose the key. So, like, you'll have to find it again if you want to get back to it. And the reason to do the Slayer Gates is because you get these keys to unlock the Unmaker that's in the fortress. And I, uh, at least me personally, I did all the gates. And for some reason, I couldn't unlock it. It made me cry really hard. Yeah. Like, I was bawling. Yeah. Once I, once I was like, oh, I can unlock it. Got everything. Did everything. I'm the man. Once I unlock, it's like, da da. It's like, ah. Uh. But I did everything. It's like you're missing a key. It's like this is bullshit. <laughs> yeah. He had a glitch there. I probably, if he wasn't in marathon mode, I would have suggested restarting the game. Yeah. But, but uh, here we are. But did you have anything else to add? Uh, Slayer Gates are fun. If you can do it, do it. Like, it's a good way to test your skill if you're looking to test it. They're purple doors. Yeah, they they do throw a lot of enemies. Luckily enough, I think I only once had to fight one Marauder. I, can, I hate them too. I got they, pretty good. They were very lenient on not throwing them into those, uh... Slayer Gates. So they're very nice about not throwing them that in that much into the story because they're assholes. Yeah, like I got pretty good one on one with them at the, with the shotgun. Like I pretty much neutralized them after a while. But it's not them. Like I feel like the, it's the their stupid fire tiger. God, I couldn't even get good at like fighting them. Like because they just sucked, they're and really they would hit them. for so much damage, yeah. and then like their little fire tiger would just show up. Is like, oh my god, I can't. I can't live my life this way. They're relentless. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much all that stuff. So th- was there anything story-wise, upgrade-wise, or anything else you wanted to talk about? Uh, I love the way Doom Guy acts, and I love his voice. <laughs> yeah. He's, he, he, he reaches <laughs> deep in his cerebellum. Anyway. <laughs> Um. Yeah the the story it, the story is great and people don't play Doom for the, the story. story is, the story is great because it's so simple. But like I don't know, Doom God's just a badass. So yeah. It's like yeah. like you feel every mo- moment. It's like you know, Doom God's just that guy. Like I yeah. love it. It's graphically great. There's cut there there the the backgrounds like the 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 backgrounds of of the levels are fucking great especially when you have like yeah. space or or stuff like that graphically like everything great. is everything is always moving in the background mm-hmm. looks great 
the music. I mean, you have to turn off film grain and motion blur, but it's great. But even with it on, because I didn't turn off anything, and it still looked great. Uh, I turned them both off, and it looked amazing. Yeah. The music we talked about, top notch. Doom knows how to do it. Music's um, great. Music's great. Um, it's just everything about this game just fucking awesome. They built off of 2016. There are some things, like, there are some people who really hated that you couldn't one-punch kill someone, like they did the basic enemies from 2016. But they did yeah. stuff, and people were like, oh, well this game turned into just oh shoot uh uh glory kill and then chainsaw and i was like bitch that was the other game too but yeah and this and like we said earlier this one breaks it up with platforming and i think it's great platforming like mm -hmm. it's it can sometimes be hard and complicated to figure out but like once you use your, those brain powers that they assume you have like you can eventually get to it yeah it's it's just it's just a bunch of fun, a carnage, a doom at its best, really. Um, the, I, I loved it. The only thing I will say about this game is the final two levels, or level and a boss. Mm -hmm. The true final boss is a bitch to beat, and I don't think they expect you to be it by yourself. In all honesty, like they, I feel like they expect you to like need help. When he says the true final boss, he means not the actual final boss in the game, but who he thinks no, is the final like boss. This, is. It's the second to last boss is mm -hmm. the true final. Yeah, and then the final boss is easy, but the level, like the level, I get what the level's for. It's like it's pretty much make you feel like a god almost before fighting the final boss. But the level feels like padding, which they didn't need. Like, they didn't need the whole last section of this. Yeah. But, all honest. Yeah. But I did have fun. They threw the kitchen sink at you, but I did have fun. Yeah. I did have fun beating dad ass. Yeah, um, like, even that said, like, even saying that's padding. Like, it was still fun padding. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, if you play the original Doom 2... Probably yeah, don't. like, it, it's a throwback. It's a nice little throwback. It's reaching to its roots. Yeah. So that... And it's kind of like they're saying that this is a reboot. So, yeah. Yeah. So that is the story and everything along them lines. Now, I did play a few games of the battle mode, which is their online mode. So I'll talk about that a little bit. So their battle mode, um, it's... Basically, it pins demons against Doom Guy, obviously. But this time, you have two players that can control demons with the other hordes of demons... Uh, while one player controls Doom Guy. Now, I got effectively my ass kicked every second of every match I played because I'm not used to playing as the demons. Um, it's uh -huh, a, you suck. <laughs> it's a shit ton of fun, though, uh, for the little bit I played. It is a lot of fun, um, even though I was getting my ass kicked the whole time. It is fun to try to be these different different demons and whatnot. I was never Doom Guy because I I'm like I played for Doom Guy for as Doom Guy for like 15 hours. I want to see what these demons can do, so I played as can't remember what the one was called, and I I don't even know what the other one's called. I call him Fat Boy, <laughs> um Man uh, Man or something like that. Um, Man Cubis, Man was yeah. So, and that, like I said, it was a shit ton of fun. There's one, there, there's not much to say on it. That's basically all it is. Uh, you, you go through different maps. The one thing I will say is you have, even if you're, you're a demon, you can see the name of the doom guy above their head. And I'm assuming because he beat these people beeline towards us that they could also see the names of, of our username above our heads. <laughs> the thing I hate about that is it turns matches into like two minutes because they're just beelining towards you instead of trying to figure out which person's you and just killing all things in their path because you're Doom Guy. Yeah. They're just beelining towards the two players, and once they die, they win. So it's like all they're doing is just beelining because Doom is, the Doom Guy is just destroying everything because he knows and he knows exactly where to go. He can regen health, and it. Well, the same way you region help in the story through Chainsaw and, and Glory yeah. Kills and stuff like that. So that's just one thing 
that I wish they would change is take the usernames off everybody, and then that way he's kind of having to go around and you have longer matches, kind of like this game of cat and mouse where you're trying to figure out which person is the real fucking dude. Now, at the same time, that would make it really hard for Doom Guy, but at the the amount of time Doom Guy spent kicking my fucking ass, I think yeah, it may it should, be a little it too It should easy be for harder for Doom Guy to just find the players. Yeah, yeah. That way the players can at least have a chance. Mm -hmm. that being said a lot of fun um i would recommend it just to you know fuck around and once you beat the story you're looking for something to do it could be a lot of fun um i could see where you can get hours of fun with friends and you can give hours of fun with friends in any game but but if you have a friend that has this and that you guys want to play with that go for it because I, I think it could be a lot of fun and i had fun in the few games i played that being said, final scores, VTM. I'm going to give this game a 10. It's the, it's the complete package. It stimulates my mind, and I like it. Yeah. It's badass, has a good story. Uh, love the platforming and combat. Just love it all. It tickled this pickle. Yeah. Like, games I look for are something that can, like, challenge me. And this game challenges me, but doesn't challenge me too hard to where I just want to quit. <laughs> Neo. Yeah. Not even a challenge. Anyway, not getting in the Neo. <laughs> uh, I Yeah, I, I think the platforming is great. You don't say it, but there isn't a lot of negatives. Uh, I think the only big negative was the switching weapons. And I'm yeah. sure there's other little nagging things that other people may have issues with that maybe we didn't have issues with. You know, everybody has nagging issues with with everything. I talked a little bit. I did see a lot of people, like, they don't even have the one-hit kill. And it's like, well, it kind of does, but they changed it to that blood punch. And I don't remember if the blood punch was in 2016, but if not, they kind of replaced that with the blood punch, which it really is more devastating. Because they can kill multiple enemies. So for me... I going through all the stuff we talked about, I think I'm going to end up at a nine. I don't think it, it, it gets to that, the threshold of a 10 out of 10 for me, but I could see where it could be a 10 out of 10 for people, you know, who, who just love doom and the, just love being a badass. Yeah. Um, the platforming stuff and everything like that. It's just, they approved on everything that doom 2016. Some people may not agree with that. They may think they took a step back in some areas, but I think they approved on, a lot of it, or most of what uh, Doom 2016 did, uh, they made it better. They added it, an even better story. A lot of people don't care about that. They just want to be Doom guy. I care about that. I, I if you're gonna be a badass, and you, but then you have a, you're, you're still a badass, but then you have a, a decently good story. Makes the game even better. Yeah. So, but that's. A, do you have anything else to add? Uh. Game companies need to take notice, and, like, sometimes you just need to go full force into what your game actually is. If it's a cheesy, just shoot them up, like, punch people in the face and all that, like, sometimes you need to go full force and just give us the best version of that. Just punch people in the face. Yeah. Push them in the face! But anyway, guys, that is gonna do it. I'm so pumped. Don't try anything Doom Guy did in the game at home. <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't. Or if you do, please record it, tag us in it <laughs> so we can see it. Please don't. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will talk to you on the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.